Liam Duggan, sorry, Sean, I thought you were coming in then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Duggan, no. mate, welcome again. The head looks perfect. The cologne looks and it smells he nice. He smells Running. good. Yeah. 10 out of 10, he's a handsome looking man. But, uh, mate, uh, round one tonight's game, it kicks off. Are you excited by the season starting in general or more just let's just get going, West Coast? Uh, I actually am. I'm very excited by the season starting. I think to see Carlton and Richmond hit it off at the start of every year, it sort of, you know, gets the juices flowing a little Should bit. They? So, um, don't know. I'm on the mm. fence on that one. But, um, you know, if it's a good game, I'm, yeah. yeah, keep going. What do you so. mean, should they? What's the issue? Well, like, why do they get dibs on the mm. first game of the season every year? It's Richard, an exciting should, combo. Yeah. No, yeah. it wasn't for two <laughs> wasn't. decades. Yeah, yeah, it, was yeah a it was still exciting. No, 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 one, no one When cares. two equally bad teams yeah. come together, it's still a comp. Yes, you know no, what I mean? No, no, <laughs> I get it. I get it. But, mate, uh, how's your rig? The wooden knee and stuff? We're flying at the moment. Yeah, mate, I'm, I'm ready to go. This this time last year, I was, uh, I was still in rehab mm. um, and then played – next week. So I'm much more prepared for what is to come uh, in the early parts of the season, which is really nice. How's the excitement levels? Because I've noticed in here, these they've gone nuts. They're like, today's the day. They're counting sleeps, literally. Um, do, the you, do you feel... <laughs> Jeez, do you feel, Not quite that. But do you feel the same, <laughs> same sort of... Do you get that same hype during uh, the weeks leading up? I, I do, but it's sort of... It's it's still work for us, so it's sort the of... you got to training. You've got to keep... Yeah, it doesn't get any easier <laughs> yeah. the last couple of weeks before um before round one, but everyone starts to, you know, sitting out the back with Tommy there and he's throwing me in the supercoach side and all that sort of stuff, so the... The you, you know he'll delete you is, with um, the minute you walk yeah, out. Yeah, that's, that's fine. He made, yeah, me, he made massaging me feel, the ego. He made me feel good for yeah, no, two good. minutes there. So it, it, it is an exciting time and, and obviously being in a footy state, like you, you feel the, the feel the buzz mm. around it. So it'd be great yeah. when we get home and, and can play a few games in front of our home fans. Now, yeah, last nice. year was disastrous. I think everyone would agree. Two wins, uh, big pre-season. Nick Nat's a little bit of an Achilles. Uh, Yoey's done a little bit of a calf. Do you think, oh, no, not again? Or is it just, just bad luck? I think it's bad luck, and I, and I don't expect them to be out for, for too long. So Yoey's was a little bit of a surprise, obviously, during the week. And by the sounds of things, it's not too bad. He should be um, he should be pretty close to being back after this week. And, and obviously, Nick, I think we heard him say before that he, he sort of knows himself when he'll be mm. right. And um, unfortunately, has he's had a bit of practice at managing um, injuries. But uh, yeah, I don't think he's too far around the corner either. Have, uh, go, you just say something? I was just, have you ever had a sore Achilles? No, I haven't. Nah, mm. no, nah, touch wood. I've been... Jeez, sore little buggers. Yeah. How, how long did yours last? About six years. I <laughs> <laughs> hey, know you were busy <laughs> giving hope to footballers everywhere. Uh, <laughs> you, you were busy through the week. Uh, you had the uh, captain's day in Melbourne. Yes. So no Luke Shuey there. And then I understand he wasn't available. And then I understand there were two other people before you that managed there to get out of it. There was a longer list than that. <laughs> a too, longer so list than yeah. that. How did yeah. it land on you? Oh, it was. It, so it was a really last minute thing. It was t- Tuesday. I found out. I got the text message. Uh, um, text one of message. our one of our staff members said, "Could I pop into their office and have a chat about Ooh. maybe heading towards Melbourne?" Who sends that to you? That was the JM. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. So Scary. it was. Uh, yeah, it was. Obviously, I'm going to go and have a chat about it. Um, yeah. Wasn't going to tell him no, but yeah, I, I was. I wasn't happy about it. At the start. <laughs> um, you know, I, I thought I was. I was. You know, I, I felt like an important player in the side, and and I wanted to. Um, you know, train well Friday and, yeah. and prepare myself. Obviously, the wooden, the wooden knee. Yeah. Um, it up. But obviously, Shuey is much more important than me because I didn't want to find before uh, before Friday session. So, uh, headed over. And it wasn't a bad experience when I got there. I heard that when you all walked out onto the G, it was a little bit of awkward (laughs) chat, like like the end of a news bulletin where they do their papers and then go, yeah. oh, it was a good day, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, Toby Nankervis saved me in that. He's a great man, by right. the way, with the mm. big nank. Do you um, really saw you standing out and going, oh, get in here, young yeah. man? I think, because I made it pretty clear that I didn't put my hand up to be there. Right. So I made sure I got to every captain of the other 17 clubs right, and said, okay. boys, look, I didn't put my hand up for this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I've been Let's, sent here. No, if it's keep um, going about your day. I'm not a, <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. a spy or anything. Yeah. I'm Liam Duggan. Yep. But, um, but the nank just, I think he, we sort of just, we got along because he didn't want to be there as much as me. Yeah, he wasn't all for it. But yeah, at, at the end of the um, at the end of the experience, it was actually quite a positive one to be honest. It was a, a bit of an appendage, appendage swinging contest with the captains where they beat in their chest. <laughs> uh, the funniest thing was Gil spoke to us. We had breakfast with the commission before oh God, sort that of the was media and stuff. Heavy, and, um, put a glass eye to sleep. There were <laughs> there were some uh, some heavy hitting combos, but he kept like mentioning that we're like the eighteen most. 18 of the most powerful 
men in in the game. And I, I was just seven. keep yelling out, <laughs> oh, amen, I was, amen. Yeah. Imagine I was, if he said 17. Yeah. Uh, 17 most yeah. important men. Yeah. Uh, Shuey's on the link. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not once did he look me in the eye when he said that. So <laughs> <laughs> Tell me they at least flew your business, did they, they please? They did. I please. flew business and, yes. yeah, I, I did enjoy that. So it's, um, yeah, there, there were some silver lines. Some perks. North Melbourne. Is there a bit of pressure on round one? Oh, there's always pressure on every game, but I mean, they're looking to turn things around. Alistair Clarkson's first ever game. A few recruits have come in. Griffin Logue, Liam Shields will play. I know they're not the superstars of the competition. What do you expect from North Melbourne under Clarko? Um, and what do you prepare for? Yeah, it's interesting with, with obviously first or first games under new coaches. We've seen it throughout time. They Fine teams tend done, to go though. well. Yeah. yeah. So we know that... Um, North are going to be fired up. They're, they're going to want to put on a show for their home fans. Clarko's first game. They're going to want to impress. So we're preparing for a, for a pretty uh, heated battle, which um, which is great for us as well. Obviously, we went over early last year and, and came close with a underdone list. But mm. it's um, yeah, it's exciting. I think both both teams have a bit of healthier list now. And um, and obviously, there's been a po- bit of positivity around both sides coming into the round one. Now, uh, while Sean gets uh, Damien Hardwick's uh, comments up, no footy at Optus Stadium um, this weekend. It's we're away both sides. Very unusual that ha- that happens. Did you catch what Damien Hardwick had to say about the MCG's conditions? No, I haven't. So I went to Ed Sheeran. It was well worth it, as far as I'm concerned. That was an unbelievable concert. So whatever condition it's in, don't give a. Shit. As long as we get it here, that's a big win for me. Uh, how does the teams feel about both being on the road? Doesn't matter. Make it up down the sea next week or whenever it might happen. But it, it, do you care that both sides are on the road? Uh, no, it doesn't doesn't make a difference to me. It's um, obviously we're we're pretty lucky. We get three at home oh, um, post this, so you sort of you, you take your uh, you take your win there. But um, I, I love that Dimmer's mm. just being so honest there, yeah, just yeah. acting like a normal human yeah. there, and not a not a real well looked after footballer. So when uh, when Dougo <laughs> drove me home the other day, Michelle, uh, we got yes. in the car and Galway Girl was playing, oh. and um, the A team, you two were singing together, we were bouncing that what it was like? along, mate. It was, it was a, it, so just, much so. I said, mate, I don't live in Cotters. Like, where are we going this way? <laughs> two guys. And he said, mate, I, I want sunset. this song to finish. <laughs> Galway Girl. <laughs> and my little sister lives 150 metres from the MCG. Um, she, but we've had the pl- a place there in that same street for 30 years. She's never, ever heard an audience from the MCG as loud as what she did oh, Ed Sheeran. Wow. Grand finals, uh, t- test matches, Shane Warne's wicket, all that stuff. She's never heard something as loud as what came out of the MCG that night. Yeah, it's, oh, he's an incredible act. Like I'm, I'm spewing. I wasn't there. But, so there's Carbo. Spe- spe- oh, he mate. called him a busker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? A busker. A busker. What do you mean? Because he it. doesn't have a drum set. Carbo's big on the drums. Oh. But um, <laughs> t- tell me this though. What was the last gig you did go to? I went to the Chili's so a couple you did of weeks before. Chili's. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was good. that was the greatest day of my life. Mm. UFC into the Chili's. Oh, so, so. she wasn't there. Wasn't there. Yeah. She wasn't no. there. <laughs> I was at the Chili's. I wasn't because we were talking about it the other day. He goes, "It's like going to war. We were yeah. in the trenches. You were in the kitchen." <laughs> she tried to. She tried to relate to the men who were in there throwing fists there, and arms and hammer fists. <laughs> you weren't there. <laughs> Uh, Eagles North live on Triple M Saturday yeah, at ten o'clock. Yeah, I'll that's be pretty. There. No, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. I'll, you want to come, Michelle? Yeah, yeah I get anything to get away from these two. It was a great day until Sean had a bourbon. Then he doesn't One remember much. One bourbon did me. After, he doesn't remember much <laughs> more after that. Took.